Welcome to Mech Warrior Online. This is Fuzzy Nova, and today we've got the Ryokin, or otherwise known as the Stormcrow. This is the A variant. I wanted to do a, uh, uh, I want to do a popular mech, so uh, the Stormcrow came to mind. I've really only done a, the the only other Stormcrow video that I've done is the Stormcrow B variant. If you remember that one, it came with an Ultra AC20 and like 60 R mediums. Stormcrow A is definitely the missile variant, and it's uh, well known for uh, using Streak SRMs, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mess around with some Streak SRMs. Um, the A variant is a lot of fun. It's it's fucking fun. It's a lot of fun, and Stormcrow. Even though uh, I don't use the Stormcrow often, it's still uh, a great mech to use and uh, powerful, powerful mediums, and it's a medium. Um, for you know, you would sometimes you can get confused with it heavy. Sometimes I forget it's a medium, and I'm like, oh shit, uh, 55 tons, and Storm Crow's classic. It's a classic mech. It's uh, and there's quite there's quite a few variants to choose from, um, but the A variant is definitely a popular choice. And uh, basically, you can use LRMs or you can use streaks. Only got a few options, um, but the streaks are definitely what I'm gonna go for. If you want to use LRMs, go ahead. But I think the build that I got uh, pretty much sums it up. Let's take a look at what I'm working with here. So the um, A variant comes with four energy and three missiles. I actually almost kept everything the same here, except for one thing. Um, for our energy, we do have four clan medium pulse lasers, and all of your energy weapons are in your left arm. So, uh, if you lose your left arm, you are without energy weapons. Uh, I've also got three clan streak SRM6s. Um, this mech came with two of them, but it also came with an LRM20. Uh, I took the LRM20 off and added an extra streak SRM6, because having three of them is pretty cool um, and it's they're powerful powerful weapons now with that said medium pulse lasers and streak SRM sixes only have a uh, uh, don't have a great range on them um, ranges max range for medium pulse lasers is uh, 480 and max range for uh, streaks is 360 so we're in the optimal range of about 360 for both of these weapons uh, well, 330 for the medium pulse lasers. Around three, let's say around 350 range is where you're going to be. Uh, 350 and closer is where you're going to want to be at. So there is that, and having a close range um, brawl type of build can get dangerous because you got to get in there and either get out or die trying. Uh, the good thing about the Stormcrow is that it goes 97.2 kph. So we do have a Clan XL 330. Um, it's flying fast fast I'm glad the storm crows is fast you need it for this build because if it was slow it really just wouldn't work that great you you want you want to use streak SRM sixes on um, if they were basically half of your main weapons you want to use it on a fast mech you can use them on slow mechs too but this build is definitely for a faster mech and we've definitely got that going on upgrades is ferro fibers double heat sinks and endo steel um, I've only got uh, uh, let's see, three double heat sinks. Uh, my heat's not too bad. 1.21 out of two. Still got to be careful with it. I do group all of my streak SRM sixes on the same weapon group, but I use uh, chain fire for my medium pulse lasers. Uh, it's kind of a mixed thing. I like having all my streak SRMs on the same weapon group because it's such a powerful attack. Um, and the medium pulse lasers open up the armor. F uh, and the streak SRMs kind of finish it off. Uh, armor points 56 CT, 39 torso, 36 arms, uh, 52 right leg, 46 left leg. Um, I think, uh, oh yeah. So uh, since you have to lock on with streaks, there are some skills that you should get if you are using <coughs> a build like this or if you're using this build. Definitely want to go to the sensors tab and uh, fill up everything you can so uh, this is you all know what this is target info gathering target de decay sensor range target retention get as many as you can it's gonna help you a lot especially with this build 
Now, as I said, I'd like to group my streak SRM sixes all on one weapon group, so I usually do it on weapon group one. Then I have chain fire on all weapon group two for my medium pulse lasers, and then I have two of those medium pulse lasers also on weapon group three. Two of them, uh, just in case. It's it's good to do that with medium or with pulse lasers. You know, have them all on chain unless your heat, your build is heat efficient, like really good. Uh, have them all on chain fire, and then also put a couple on one extra weapon group just in case if you need that extra attack. Uh, but yeah, that's that's basically it. The uh, Storm Crow's uh, a popular classic fun mech, really is. And I haven't really shown it enough love, and I've been playing around with it for a while uh, today. And um, I'm glad I'm doing this one because there's quite a other, there's a bunch of other variants that I need to do with the Storm Crow. But I'm glad I'm doing the A because uh, it's been giving me some some joy today, and. Uh, no one likes getting hit with streaks. So let's go ahead and get to a match, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Dropping into <coughs> Mining Collective <coughs> in the uh, Ryokin A variant. So, uh, four medium pulse lasers and three streak SRM6. Stormcrow is fast, it's quick, and it's dangerous. It's a definitely a get in, a get out type of uh, build, and uh, it's popular. I really didn't have to change much, as I said, the A variant uh, already comes with four medium pulse lasers, and it also comes with two Streak SRM-6 and an LRM-20. So if you want to leave on the LRM, that's fine. I just wanted to make this strictly a get in there, do some heavy damage, and try to get out if you can't finish them off. Although, my heat is kind of... Yeah. But that's okay. All right. Let's get in there. Airstrike, back up. Ooh, right in oh, your Kodiak ran right into it. All right, we already killed the guy that was up top. Let's take the top here. Hopefully, we can hold it. Oh, shit. Ow, damn. Uh, King Crab. Let's focus on King Crab. Push him back. And let's see if we can get some more damage in on him here. Come on. That's a line by the back. Enemy UAV delta. Screw it. I'm jumping down. You're gonna make me overheat. Screw it. Target destroyed. Alright, he is down. Oh. Be very careful here. Acquired. Come on up. Stalker. Alright, let's see if we can take this stalker out. He's he's closing in on me. But I do have the element of surprise. Let's get his shoulder there. Got him. Alright. Let's go ahead, uh. We got an Arctic Wolf and uh, Highlander 2C. Let's go for the Highlander. He's hurting. Ah, damn it. 
Alright, screw it. Let's go for the Arctic Wolf. Give me a luck. Give me a luck. Oh. He made it out with the skin of his teeth. Alright. Let's go up top here. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Another King Crab. All right. Target acquired. I've been Jag. SRM's away. Got him. Those streaks. Rough neck. What is that? Locust? Alright. I'm gonna go after this storm crow down here. Excuse me. Oh, I'll stalk her. Get out of my way. I'm trying to get him. Get out of my way. Alright, screw it. Let's go after the locust. Let me get a lock. This will be it. This should kill him right here. Oh no. Give me one more. One more lock. Got him. Good game. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's why streaks are great for locusts and lights, and especially locusts and jenners. Three kills, five assists, one solo, uh, two KMDDs, 651. So for a 55 ton mech, um, it can dish out some damage and really fuck some mechs up. Uh, let's let's play one more match because this thing is so much fun. All right, see you guys in the next match. This is the Inner Sphere. Thousands of planets colonized by humankind. Reactor online. Ah, low hills. online. Ah, uh, Polar Highlands in the Stormcrow A variant. I do like the uh, the cockpit of the Stormcrow. And let's get moving. Yeah, I'm not a fan of getting missiles at long range. Uh, a bit more open. Um, <clears throat> Mining Collective worked a little bit better because it was a smaller map, um, more closed in. Seems to work better for uh, surprise attacks with your streak SRMs. This is a whole different ballpark right here. The enemy will see me coming from a mile away unless somehow um, we either flank them or sneak up on them, but I doubt it. It'll probably be head on chaos. Let's keep a rolling. That is, I can't tell. Uh, not good with the map. Target acquired. Guesstimating. J9, I think. I'm useless at this range. I've got to get closer. Now, I think on a map like this, um, Depending on what your team does, it's it's probably best to lay low, um, just for a little bit. Maybe you have, maybe use some medium pulse, uh, use your medium pulse lasers for a little bit of support, but hang back a little bit. Maybe let the other guys fight for a, a bit, um, and then come in, come in hard, hard as hell, and just start taking down a. Uh, some already damaged mechs. 
But who knows? I might not even be able to do that. So our team is kind of we're in an awkward spot here. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target acquired. Base is being captured. Base is under attack. We need a light to go back to the base. New target Please. Acquired. Not everyone. Just the fastest mech that we've got. Hellbringer, let's destroy some components. Oh damn, he's already dead. Holy shit. I think everyone focus fired on that Hellbringer there. Ooh, thanks. Thank you, Nova, for the friendly fire there. I'm not doing shit at that range. Not going down, holy shit. Ugh. Couldn't even kill him with my alpha there. Well, I, I alpha'd my streaks. Damn. Swap to the map. Tim B. New target acquired. Alright, let's go after the Shadow Hawk. Done. Easy target. Very easy. He was. Almost dead, anyways. You were a Excuse me. Let's get over here to the front lines and start fucking some things up. Eb and Jag. Up, 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 up. I'm going back. Coke out. What the hell? Uh oh, lag. Yep. Dang it! I tried it again. I legged him though. I, I legged the Ebon Jag with that last silo of streaks. So that's good. Got him! Alright, pull back, pull back, pull back. Glad I got that Ebon Jag. Timber Wolf. Timber Wolf. Does whatever a Timber Wolf does. Eat shit! He's down. Nice, two matches in a row, both victories. But we both did a uh, both victories and both a, a job well done with the Storm Crow or Ryokan A variant. Yeah, might have been a try. That's it. Streaks on the Storm Crow is like, what do they say? White on rice, butter on popcorn, caramel on apple. Two kills, six assists. Two KMDDs, 460 damage. Fuck yeah. Guys, hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time tomorrow for uh, another mech. If I don't see you, then have a good rest of your weekend. And that's it. Fuzzy Nova out.